Hey guys, Mike here, Affluent Journeys. That's my website, affluentjourneys.com. Guess what? I'm on board the brand newly refurbished Oceania Insignia. Uh, this is an R-Class vessel from Oceania Cruises, of course. And uh, earlier this year, they did a full big refurbishment on board. So today we're gonna do a full uh, tour of all the public areas on board the Insignia. And I've already done a bunch of the uh, suites and rooms tours, so make sure to watch for my videos in the owner suite, the Vista suite, penthouses and concierge uh, level veranda rooms as well. You're going to see a big night and day difference from how the R-Class vessels used to look and basically how they've looked primarily since they were built. Uh, and you can watch those on my old videos on the Oceana Regatta that I made last year. Uh, so. Uh, I am a luxury travel agent. I do recommend uh, Oceana Cruises, of course. If you live in North America, I'm definitely interested to hear from you about it. If you're seriously interested in booking a cruise here on Oceana, perhaps you're on Oceana, and guess what, or on the Insignia, and guess what, the Insignia, for the next few years at least, will be the world cruise vessel uh, for Oceana Cruises. So if you want to book a world cruise on Oceana, it's going to be on this one right here, the Insignia. So certainly I want to hear from you about that. And guess what? In most cases, I can improve on the offer that you would have directly with the cruise lines. Uh, so if you're seriously interested in booking a cruise here on Oceana, uh, you live in North America, uh, and even if you've already booked that cruise within the past 30 days with Oceana's North American offices, uh, not through Europe, UK, or Australia, and not through another travel agent, uh, and you're not paid in full, uh, then in most cases I can still improve on that offer, and I'll be glad to do it. So make sure to watch towards the end of the video. Uh, I'll talk about that in greater detail, and you'll need to understand those things before you contact me. It's very important. So let's uh, not waste too much time. Let's uh, have a look here at the Great Oceana Insignia. So first thing we're going to look at is right where I'm standing. This is the top deck. Uh, this is the highest point on the ship that the uh, guests can get to. Um, so right here we have the shuffleboard court. All of this is brand new. Uh, we have a mini putt course uh, that goes all the way around the backside, and it's a bit windier over there. And this is the bow of the ship. Want to see that? That's the uh, captain's view. We're now just below the uh, sun deck where we were, and we're going to have a look at the uh, Horizons Lounge here. Includes the Artist Loft, Smoking Lounge, and Horizons. So this is the uh, Smoking Lounge in here. Yeah, got brand new uh, seating and artwork, chandeliers throughout the uh, ship. How's it going? So they will have uh, evening entertainment uh, here. They'll have the band playing here in the evenings. It's a really cool place just to hang out and see the view from the bow of the ship. Here's the uh, bar menu. Uh, Oceana does not include drinks automatically, but you can get them as part of various uh, alcohol packages. You can see some of the beers and vodkas. And signature cocktails as well. Reasonable pricing though, if you just want to pay as you go. We'll look here out the uh, bow, like you just saw recently. All right, so this is the Horizons uh, Lounge Bar. You can see some of the uh, bar selections that they have. They do have a uh, Beluga Vodka. And this is exclusive on the art class to the Insignia. This is going to be the uh, artist loft area. And because this is the uh, World Cruise Vessel, they'll have tons of lecturers and artists that will actually bring their own artwork on board, uh, sell their art, of course, and then they will do art classes on their techniques and uh, that type of thing uh, for grand enrichment here on board uh, the Insignia. And just back of the... Uh, Horizons Lounge, got all new carpets and everything on board, new artwork in the vestibules. I wanted to show you the uh, main deck plan. So basically they have a deck plan here like you just saw. It tells you the position of everything on board. 
And we also have this where it tells you what's on every deck. And then once you're there, you'll have another one like this. So let's go have a look uh, outside at the uh, pool deck. This is the uh, main pool deck on board. So we're looking at above. They got a clock there, so you know what time to go to dinner and whatnot. Two jacuzzis and the main pool. Regular lounge chairs. By the way, there's no towel check on Oceana. And uh, nice loungers there also. In case you want to know the uh, fitness track information, 13 times is one nautical mile. We're now at uh, Deck 10 aft. Uh, they have two specialty restaurants on board, uh, the Insignia. And this one is uh, Toscana. So you can see the uh, menu here. You can also find this online if I'm showing it too fast for you. <clears throat> now we'll have a quick look inside. We got uh, really cool mosaic tile work and a bust of maybe one of the Caesars. I don't remember which one that is. Maybe Agrippa, actually, but uh, I could be wrong. Let me know if you know which uh, bus that is. So Toscana is the uh, Italian restaurant, of course, and uh, Oceana does not charge for their specialty dining, but you do need to make reservations, and you do get uh, guaranteed at least one uh, time. So I had someone on a previous video complain to me for touching these, but they don't actually use these for service. They're just for display. Really nice Versace uh, plates here. Oh, well this one is made up already, huh? There we go, for display only, only in case you want to criticize me for touching the plates. And here's some of the uh, wines that you could expect to have. And on the other side of Toscana, we have the Polo Grill. Well, a very good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. This is your announcement, if you like. Speaking, and on behalf of Captain Morrow, General Manager Victor, and everyone here at Oceana Cruises. All right, we're now inside the uh, Polo Grill, which is the uh, premier dining venue on board uh, Insignia. A little uh, lounge area if you need to wait for your table and bar area as well. Hey, let's look at some of the wines in here. Lots of Louis Jadot, nice wines from Puilac, cake bread, better Mondavis from Carneros. Of course, Oceana has a great wine selection. Got uh, fine whiskeys as well. All right, now in one of the areas that they kind of didn't refurbish because it's so cool uh, and old school, this is the library, which is just forward of the two specialty restaurants. So they do have a few uh, internet uh, cafe desks here in case you didn't bring your own uh, iPad or laptop or whatnot. And of course, they have a massive library selection of books uh, if you want to read. Here's the uh, color coding, in case that's of interest to you. And then the uh, best feature, maybe one of the coolest things on board, is going to be the ceiling in here. And they have this the same on Azamara. Have a look at that. You can see all the uh, birds if I don't trip over the coffee table. And they got a lighted fireplace for you. Of course, you'll have table games, puzzles in here as well. We're now at uh, Deck 9 aft, and this is the Terrace Cafe, which is going to be the main uh, buffet and dining area on board. They do have uh, various beverage packages if you don't get them included uh, prior to booking. 
Of course, once you book, you can normally book these online. Sometimes there's a discount for it. You don't get mad at me, the prices may change over time. And they do keep a list uh, of the various tasting events on board. This is the uh, main bar, the Terrace Cafe. You'll see they have the uh, Illy Espresso machines. And that is the Vero uh, water filter. They no longer have single-use plastic water bottles on board, so everybody gets refillable bottles uh, throughout the cruise. Of course, they're named the Twining's Tea. This is the uh, pizza bar. Today they got margarita and prosciutto with fungus. How's it going? Even on the buffet, they, they can have monkfish and calamari. Would you like some more? Would you like some more of the broth? Uh, yeah, over the rice. Here are some of the uh, pouring wines. Grigio's Sauvignon Blancs, Marlboro area. Of course, they make uh, fresh bread daily on Oceana. Welcome aboard. Thank you. Take one. All right, now I'll get one later. <laughs> the cold cuts uh, section here. The uh, ice cream section, they're all made here on board. I want to have some vanilla ice cream with it. Yeah, with some chocolate ones. And now we're all the way aft. We do have uh, Al Fresco dining here at the Terrace Cafe. In case the uh, buffet ice cream was or not, we have more out here at the uh, Waves Bar. They got ice cream sorbet, smoothies, milkshakes, and malts. And over here we have a burger section, hot dogs, paninis, surf and turf you can order out here, lobster and black Angus filet mignon. I think maybe I'll have one of those for lunch today. There's fresh fruit every day here on Oceana. A selection of the uh, sauces that you saw. Day one is my favorite. Plus a place you order here and everything goes right out on the and here's the uh, wave seating area. And they do have a uh, selection of the pool cocktails out here. Caprinas, etc., Mai Tais, Pina Coladas. Of course, if you buy an uh, all-inclusive beverage package, then this is all included. You don't pay any extra for it. On the opposite side, we just have a uh, seating and lounge area. And we'll come out here and have a look at the uh, pool from the pool level. The pool is lukewarm, maybe uh, 80 degrees, 82 degrees or so. It's uh, five and a half feet deep, and the uh, jacuzzis are pretty hot. So they, don't, they don't have them too hot on most cruise ships, but uh, on Oceana they do. It's pretty good. You have a, a really nice uh, Stiga ping pong table. And right here is the uh, Waves Bar. And over here is the uh, smoking area. So we're now forward of the uh, pool on deck nine, starboard. And this is the uh, fitness center area. They do have full fitness programs on board. We have uh, Shobraj, the uh, current fitness director. 
So they'll use this area for yoga, spinning classes, other group classes, that type of thing. They do offer uh, personal training and various uh, fitness consultations, that type of thing. You see they have the really nice uh, techno gym, spinners, yoga mats. Uh, all the equipment now looks like it's techno gym, so it looks like it's very high quality. We have a whole ton of treadmills, ellipticals. We have uh, bikes with all the video screens. You can actually play games while you're running or watch the uh, TV, YouTube. Weight stack. Just outside the gym, we have the uh, spa terrace area. So it's just another quiet lounge area. We'll have a uh, the lasso pool here. Really nice uh, teak decking. It looks uh, fairly new. Might be brand new, actually. And then two more chaise lounges uh, over on this side. Of course, we're in uh, Miami today. About 84 degrees. Nice day out. And Royal Caribbean's gonna be building a whole new uh, set of offices right there. That's their main corporate headquarters. Just in the center area, uh, in between the gym and the spa treatment rooms, we have the spa reception area. So if you want to buy some nice uh, athletic wear, looks like it's all ladies right now. We don't have anything for the guys. And this is the uh, spa reception desk. Uh, starting in January of 2020, this will all be rebranded to their own in-house Aquamar spa program. And we'll walk in here to the uh, salon. Of course, you can do all your beautiful ladies' treatments, your uh, makeup and mani pedis, hair, everything to make you look great on your uh, Oceana cruise. Of course, they have the nice, fancy uh, Kerastase spa products as well. So, this is the New spa, relaxation, quiet area. Beautiful uh, tile work here on the floor. Basically when you're getting ready for your spa treatment, you come in here and wait. And then your uh, spa treatment person will take care of you. They do have showers in the treatment rooms. And just inside from the gym, we do have uh, separate men's and ladies' changing rooms. Double doored here, so you don't see anything uh, you shouldn't see. And uh, they'll have a head here. Uh, they'll have all the different uh, accoutrements here. They got uh, shavers, hair dryers, Barbasol, uh, free disposable razors for use. A little wash sink here. They'll have lockers, so you can put all your belongings in there. Uh, they will have some complimentary bottled waters here in the spa area, scale. Uh, this is going to be the steam room. They keep it at about 107 degrees, they say. But I'll fog up the lens there. Nice steam room with nice tile in there. And we have uh, showers back here. And you can go right from here out to the spa terrace. Uh, by the way, this is included uh, in your cruise fare for concierge and above. Uh, for below, you can buy a spa pass if you'd like to come out and hang out at the spa. And just outside of the spa area, we have the uh, card room. They'll run bridge tournaments, games, that type of thing in here. Got some interesting uh, portraits here of James Buchanan. Let's see what we have here. I think I know who that looks like. Taft. Oh no, Grover, Cleveland. He's president twice. And next to the card room we have the Oceana at Sea Internet Cafe. So we have more computers in here. In case you want to check emails, print out your boarding passes or whatnot. And let's see who we have in here. We have uh, George Washington. And we have John Adams. And next to the card room, we have the Oceana 
at sea, Internet Cafe, so we have more computers in here. In case you want to check emails, print out your boarding passes or whatnot. Uh, let's see who we have in here. We have uh, George Washington. And we have John Adams. So I do have new fancy wallpaper. It's a little bit furry. Get up to it, so it's neat. And brand new carpets on board. And of course, this is the guest laundrette here on deck seven. So this is free complimentary self laundry. If you want to do your own laundry. And then they do also offer uh, either paid or complimentary uh, laundry service, depending on what type of uh, room that you book. So they have, looks like one, two, three, four washers and dryers with their own uh, soap system. They'll have two irons and ironing boards and a little TV if you just want to hang out here as well. We're going to go back to your room. I don't think anyone is stealing clothes. Nice watercolors. Now on uh, deck five aft, this is the uh, entrance to the main dining room, so I'll show you the dinner here, which is uh, for the first evening. So Oceana spends more money on dining than any other cruise line in the world. So we have grouper fillets, fresh mussels, uh, spare no expense in quality dining here on board Oceana. is uh, Baristas, which is the coffee bar. And they're not set up yet, but this is the new grand uh, dining room. This is the main dining venue on Oceana. By the way, Oceana is all casual. There's no required formal nights. Just dress like me. Polo shirts, slacks. You're fine the whole way through. And uh, they have a brand new chandelier here in the center area. And by the way, it's all open seating here. There's no reservations required. Now uh, midship on deck five. This is the uh, main staircase. Of course, another new modern chandelier. Looks really nice. And of course, uh, we do have a concierge desk behind me. A little bit more lounge seating. They'll have the string quartets play here. This is one of the uh, boutiques here if you want to buy watches and jewelry. Buy me something nice in the shops on your Oceana cruise. And then on this side we have another boutique for uh, logo items, hats, clothes, costume jewelry, sunglasses, other sundries and things like that that you might need. It's all tax and duty free in international waters as well. Right, and uh, right behind me here is the Oceana Club Ambassador Desk. If you want to book a new cruise while you're on board Oceana, I recommend it because you will get significant incentives to do so. And of course, if you assign those bookings over to me at Affluent Journeys, then you'll get my uh, exceptional benefits on top. They do change the uh, programs and benefits uh, every once in a while, but here's what we're looking at today. Looks like up to $1,500 off. And uh, pretty soon they're going to announce 2022, including the 2022 World Cruise on Insignia, this one right here. We're now at uh, Deck 5 Mid, and this whole area is totally refurbished. And from what I can remember, this looks a lot better than what Azamara did on their most recent refurbishments. So really cool sculptures and artworks all throughout. And really nice lounge alcoves cognac leather seats over there and look at the uh, art wall. Is that neat or what? So we'll have a look here. Really nice uh, new seating. Velour couch here. And we have these really cool cognac uh, leather couches. Really nice new uh, ceiling lights.
Looks really modern, but still classical in style, so it'll last. And this is the uh, Martini's Bar here. And then the uh, casino. So they will have a full casino on board with all the different table games, blackjack, roulette, slot machines. And just forward of the uh, casino, we have the Insignia Lounge. Brand new signage there. This is the main uh, show lounge and lecture lounge on board. So if they bring a big name speaker, uh, they want to get everybody in here as much as possible. So all this is still the old uh, classical style like they've had. We'll have a bar here during showtime. And they do have uh, improved entertainment on board. They have full song and dance troupe now uh, with Broadway style shows. And entertainment, although entertainment is not the main focus of Oceana. It's mostly about the itinerary and the dining. But you'll certainly enjoy the entertainment that you see with uh, the facilities that you know they have. <laughs> we're now on uh, deck four. We're having a look at the new Tree of Life installed here. And over on this side we have the uh, destination services or the shore excursions desk. And then behind me here is the reception desk. And over here we have the uh, security. This is one of the uh, places that you'll get on and off the ship. And over here we have concierge services as well. All right, guys, well, that, uh, that concludes the uh, full ship tour here of the Oceana Insignia. Hope you guys uh, enjoyed what you saw today. We saw all the public areas. And uh, don't forget to make sure to look at the suites and room tour videos that I'll have here on the YouTube channel as well. Uh, so once again, I am a luxury travel agent. I do recommend, of course, uh, Oceana Cruises. And if you're seriously interested in booking a cruise on Oceana, I want to hear from you about it. And in most cases, I can improve on the offer would have direct uh, with the cruise lines. Uh, even if you've already booked that cruise recently and directly uh, with Oceana's U.S. offices, uh, not Europe, U.K. or Australia, sorry I can't help you on those. Um, if you did not pay in full, you did the booking within the past 30 days and not through another travel agent, uh, then I can still improve that offer and I'll be glad to do it. So serious inquiries only, you can contact me today at the uh, phone numbers down below. Uh, or submit your inquiry on the website affluentjourneys.com. Uh, now, if you haven't already, please make sure to hit like on the video down below and subscribe to the channel. Uh, that helps me a lot. Uh, share it to your friends if you think they'd be of interest. Uh, and, uh, of course, put your comments down below. If you've sailed on Oceana, perhaps here on the Insignia, uh, let people know what you think about it so that way they can learn from your experience. Uh, next, make sure to follow Affluent Journey's Facebook page. That's very important. You'll see all my special deals, including those on Oceana there. And uh, follow Affluent Journeys on Instagram. You'll see some other things in my travels uh, that I do as well, if that would be of interest to you there. So, thanks again for watching. Hope you enjoyed it. And please stay tuned for the next one.